Hey everybody, Jason back again tonight with another Transformers review. Yeah, finally back again with a Transformers review rather than, you know, everything else I've been doing. But, uh, Transformers is my first love, of course, so I am back tonight <clears throat> to review none other than Transformers Prime Ratchet. I absolutely love this figure. Picked it up a couple weeks ago, but I am just getting around to reviewing it because I've just, you know, had him on my shelf and been playing with him and just uh, he's probably out of all the Transformers Prime figures that I have which is everybody uh, except Bulkhead and the Viacon he's probably my favorite uh, one even even more than Wheeljack which I really like Wheeljack he's awesome but um, Ratchet awesome figure so we're gonna be reviewing him tonight um, but first a, a little bit of fun I picked up for some reason I picked up Bot Shots I don't know if I'm getting on the bot shots wagon like, uh, you know, some of some of you might be. Uh, but man, these guys are like little, little little plastic crack. Like when they say that tra transformers are plastic crack, you know, as we know them, they're correct. But these guys, it's it's kind of like the, the Pokemon craze, which you know was was way after my time. But I understand the concept of gotta catch them all, and that's kind of how I feel about these guys. So. I might be adding more to my collection, I might not, but these make great little desk toys. So, if you guys haven't picked up Bot Shots, they're very cheap, very good figures. Um, just to play with or have on your desk, you know what I mean? Like, have on your desk at work or have on your desk at home when you're, you know, working on your computer or surfing the net. Just fun little guys to, to mess around with. But, I picked up the 3-pack of Nemesis Prime and Megatron and Acid Storm. But they're, you know, like translucent plastic, very cool. But, you know, concept is basically um, you just bump their, you know, tips together. And, you know, if you do it correctly, obviously you can't do it in midair. But they uh, pop out to form, you know, little transformers. So this is Nemesis Prime. And they have these little battle, you know, point system right here. If you want to learn more about it, just go to BotShots.com or pick up some. They have all the info there. And, uh, you know, Acid Storm. Very cool little repaint of the Starscream one, but um, I like them. Fun. And then Megatron's, Meg Megatron's pretty neat. So, yeah. Little, little quick... Uh, side deviation there and, you, and they're cool because you could just kind of throw them around and they're bot shots so they're supposed to do uh, battle damage and they could take you throwing them around pretty solid constructed little guys but as promised tonight we are here to review ratchet transformers prime ratchet now if you guys watch the transformers prime show like i do you probably love ratchet um because he's the old man Ratchet, you know, he, um, he's, he's the, the old beliefs on the team. He's, to me, the wisest one, um, takes the least amount of risks. And, it, you know, I just, I just love, love, love Ratchet on the show. So, of course, naturally, I had to pick up his figure. And I love his figure even more than my other Prime ones. So, um, you know, basic vehicle mode. Just his ambulance mode. So you got the translucent plastic on the sides and the front here. And there's no other windows on the vehicle, obviously. Um, he he doesn't have any painted, really, uh, headlights or anything. They're just white plastic with this, like, little silver touch on the front. And he has two uh, holes on the front here, which I'll show you in a minute what they're for. Black tires, no paint on the rims. Just a very basic paint scheme, generic ambulance type. Black, um, I'm excuse me, the back is totally white except for this little silver finish on the bumper. And the other side is the same. Nice little uh, touch of white on the scoop on the hood there. And he does have his red ambulance uh, lights, which are also just, you know, painted red plastic. Um, side mirrors. Also, but they're all white, no touch of, of silver or anything on there. 
but still a uh, good little vehicle he rolls nicely um, and they really tuck away a lot of his robot form under the carriage so it's just your typical transforming car um, he does come with two of these little weapons these little daggers and they are like rubber like the stuff we get from Hasbro these days but um, it's not bad I'm not complaining you know because it still has a point to it which is cool so you plug these daggers into the holes which I just showed you before and he becomes kind of like a death race type of machine you know where he will just run you down and kill you with his little swords there the only thing I don't like about this is that um, there's no storage for these under the vehicle so if you didn't want to mount them on the front you know you would have to mount them on the top which doesn't really look like an ambulance but uh, yeah so you'll have to put those to the side but great figure man so transforming him is is actually a lot of fun because like I said he tucks a lot of his parts under the carriage so it's basically just your break apart and um, you know form him into a robot type so he's just basically like a shell but I'm not going to go through the whole process of transforming them in any any order for you guys. I'll just sit here and try and keep it on the screen as I do it. Because I just, I don't really follow directions with my transformers. I just kind of go about it the way I go about it. So there's no real way of showing you guys. Plus a lot of people do the step-by-step -step stuff. And, you know, I've done that before too, but... um trying to get away from that a little bit in my reviews and just have fun transforming the guy on screen and not really going over the details of it but man uh, he he's he's a lot of fun to transform there's a lot of things you unhook and unlatch but they all fit perfectly and snap perfectly into place unlike say your your figures that piss you off, or at least piss me off, like uh, War for Cybertron Bumblebee, who's just a giant cluster F when you're trying to plug all his tabs into place. So Ratchet is different than that. Because all his, all his tabs pretty much fit into place nicely. Even though this one that I'm trying to fit into place is not working too well for the review, but that's the way it goes when you're filming. But that's okay. We'll just go with it. But yes, Ratchet, voiced by Jeffrey Combs. Combs. Who does a great job, I think, voicing Ratchet, in my opinion. All right. So we formed his legs there. His legs have these nice uh, heels on him, so he stays up pretty straight when you're standing him up. And just give his arms a go here. Pull those out. Rotate them. I really like the hand system on these arms. You got your hands tucked into here. See on the sides right here and here. So it's cool because you just kind of rotate them out. You fold this piece over, which forms the forearm, which also tabs nicely into place. Bada bing, bada boom. Now that's now this is a cool piece. I actually do want to show you guys this. He has this um, bit over his head here. His head is actually right there. You can see the top of his head right in, right in that hole. The cool thing is when you take this top piece, which is the back of the ambulance, and you move it, bam. His head pops out. So very cool. And there he is in all his glory. Mr. Ratchet. Autobot Medic. Wise Old Medic. 
Very cool. Articulation is great on this figure. Um, has swivels here on his arms, right there. So you can do like a 90 degree bend. Also has one on the elbow, so you can, you know, touch his forearm to his shoulder there without any effort. A little bit of swivel in the wrist. And he's also got a swivel in the shoulder, so you can kind of bring one of his arms back or move them both forward, whatever you please. And the shoulder on the top is a ball joint, so you can rotate it 360 degrees like so, if you wish. But man, overall, great posability. Again, ball joints here um, on the upper thighs, swivel on the knee so he could do almost a 90 degree bend. He's got these giant knee pads here. You know, a lot of kicking action. Not that old Ratchet kicks a lot. Does kick a lot of ass, that's for sure. But, uh... <clears throat> and, of course, he's got some pretty great light piping. Um, you can't tell because my light source is next to my computer here. But he does have some very nice light piping in the top of his head. Right back there. So you're going to get a, light, a lot of light showing. But great, uh... Great sculpt. I like it. I think it resembles Ratchet Fine from the show. His waist, last bit of articulation I want to show you guys. His waist does swivel a bit. Turns on this little axis here. Which is nice. Yeah, and uh, like I said earlier, he does have supporting heels for his front feet. So you can stand him up in place and he doesn't go anywhere. So a couple of options for the um, for the blades here, the knives. You can obviously put them in his hands like so. So he can kind of dual wield, dual wield his blades, cut some bitches up. Or he can put them Oh, I also like this. I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's it's almost like in the Prime show where, you know, how they could form their weapons. Uh, they form them from their hands. Like, they come out of their arms instead of, like, holding them, really. Yeah, his wrist can tuck almost where you could plug the the blade into it. And it almost looks like it's coming out of his, uh, his arm. So, if you're posing them on a shelf from far away, you know, it, it almost... Uh, Seems like you wouldn't see that. I mean, that's just my opinion, but I think it's pretty cool. And what else? Oh, yeah. Pull some kind of crazy move where he's got his blades. You know, if you want, want him having his blades stored here, I don't know why, but you can still do it. Or if you want his blades kind of concealed... You can lift this bit up a little bit here and just add some back kibble there. Tuck that bit back down just a little bit. So, you know, you got that piece sticking up, but it'll still hide his blades. However, you know, I have him holding them on my shelf. So, um,. Like I said, I really like the paint scheme. It matches him in the show pretty damn well. The only thing I don't understand really with Mr. Ratchet here is he has no Autobot logo on him. Zero Autobot logo on his whole person or bot. So, you know, um, I can't remember on the show where his Autobot logo is. I think it's on his chest or on one of his uh, pecs, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. But, you know, usually we all see uh, an Autobot logo here or there. Nevertheless, awesome toy. I highly suggest if you guys like Transformers Prime or you just want some new uh, plastic crack, go ahead and get yourself a uh, ratchet. Very kick-ass Transformer. All right? 
So, this is Jason. This is Transformers Prime Ratchet. These are Transformers Bot Shots. And I'm out. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all my subscribers. Bye-bye.